Hey guys, Rob here with eBuyer Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new piece of software from Twitch, which is called Twitch Studio. So this is basically Twitch's own version of OBS. I'm going to use it today to set up a stream and see what kind of features it includes. So at the moment, Twitch Studio hasn't been fully released, so we are using the Twitch Studio beta, but it should be released fairly soon in the near future. Obviously, when it does release, it may change slightly to what we're showing off today. So be wary of that if you are downloading it once it's fully released. So the first thing we're going to do is run through the setup. So once you've installed it, you'll be brought to this page and it says before you first stream, we'll help you set up your mic, webcam, layouts and settings. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with our microphone. So as you can see, it's already picked up the Rode NT-USB, which is the mic that I'll be using. I'm going to hit this personalize button just to see what options we can do. We can remove background noise, remove quiet noise and enable the loudness equalization. So I'm going to leave that standard for now. You can listen to the mic if you want to, um, but I'm going to see what the standard preset sounds like. Okay, so we're then going to go through to the webcam. There we go. So up on the top here, you can choose your webcam if you've got more than one. Um, it looks like there's... Okay, so we have different filter options as well. That's kind of cool because uh, that's not something that's included in OBS. And sometimes I do find my camera tends to reset its settings a lot. So it'd be interesting to see how these filters work. That black and white one's quite cool actually. A bit different. Not sure you'd want to use these ones, but... Okay, we'll leave it on default for now and then continue through to layouts. So stream layouts. So we've tailored some stream graphics for you. You can customise them in the app. So we have main, be right back, and downtime. And we can customize these layouts. Okay. So it looks like we've got different pattern options down here, different wallpapers there. Is this a new follow icon? And then we can change our coloring. So I'm gonna kind of mute the colors a little bit more because they're quite bright. We go with like a green for that. And then tertiary red, continue to settings. But this is the bit I'm most interested in because I'm not sure entirely how they are encoding through this. I'm guessing it's going to be by the CPU. Um, so it looks like it's set. It's checked the bandwidth and the hardware. So if we tweak the settings, oh, okay, no, it's actually gone to NVIDIA NVENC. It'd be interesting to know if that's the new NVENC or the old one. Um, but it's set the resolution to 1080p, 60fps, 6000 bitrate, which is obviously the limit as a non-partner on Twitch. And then it's done a test, so it's shown CPU, it uses 2.8%, zero dropped frames, memory 681 megabytes, and encode FPS 42 FPS. Okay, not sure what that means. Maybe that we need to drop to 720p to get that to 60. And there we go. Huh. That's quite cool actually. So what this has done is pulled through basically my dashboard from my own Twitch account. So you can see up here we've got our name, our game that we're playing, uh, stream layout. So be right back, downtime. So this is almost like your like starting soon chat kind of screen. Uh, be right back obviously when you're AFK. I like this webcam. It's definitely a nice piece of software for um, for starting out with streaming. It looks really clean. Uh, obviously, you can see your chat on the side here. Let's make it full screen and just have a little look at some of the features that are inside this. So we've got record video, start stream now. So we can start streaming directly from there. Edit layout. So alerts are going to show up there. We can move the webcam around if we want by the looks of it. Game capture wallpaper and then the background colors so there's definitely a still a fair bit of tweaking that you can do in this software i'm going to come out of the editor you can add more scenes and so you can mute your microphone there stream audio mix is available there recording format you can change it's a very stripped down simple version of streamlabs obs or obs in general um, obs studio that's not a bad thing. I think it's uh, for someone that's new to streaming, it's definitely going to be quite an easy thing to set up. I can see your title up here that you can change. 
And then, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you've got two monitors, you'd probably want to have this filling up the second monitor. But it looks like it would have everything you'd need on it um, for during the stream. So you've also got your chat, you've got your alerts or your activity feed. If you need to change anything on the fly, all the settings are pretty much there for you. So, um, and then obviously you've got chat settings. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's much else we can really show in the software. If we go into settings, so again, it's very similar to, to OBS. It's just mostly stripped down. So they kind of, I guess, remove a lot of the settings that people can find confusing just to streamline it and make it simpler for, for new streamers. It's nice to see that they've got those different encoders in there. Um, I'm interested to see whether the RTX or the NVENC encoder is the new NVENC encoder or the old one. But I know our system's running a 1080 Ti, so it might be that it's running the old one still. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a nice piece of software. I think uh, I'm actually quite impressed with it. I think for new streamers starting out, it's definitely going to be a really good option to try out. Obviously, at the moment, it's only in beta, but when it does release, um, I could see this being quite popular. But yeah, that's pretty much going to cover this video, guys. So it was mostly just to show you guys how Twitch Studio looks. It seems to have set everything up as I would expect for our PC. So overall, definitely a neat little bit of software that's worth checking out if you're new to streaming. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And uh, if you've got any questions about the software, then feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'll make sure I uh, keep an eye on those and answer any queries that you guys have. When it does release fully, we'll do a, like an update video just in case anything's changed from this version. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.